What's up everybody? This is Chuck It's Chris Watt with Simply Vegas, your Las Vegas realtor, connecting you to the Las Vegas real estate market. So today we are actually here in the city of Henderson. We are actually southeast in Henderson. We're just actually a couple miles out to Boulder City. That freeway right here takes you out to Boulder City. From here to the airport, it's gonna take you roughly about 30 minutes. This area is actually called Mission Hills. So we are actually gonna be taking a look at a property, this beautiful McMansion right here. The asking price is 1,399,000. It is a seven bedroom home, does have six bathrooms, and it does have a casita too as well, RV parking. So this property has so much to offer. So let's go take a look and see what we got here. Love the uh, stonework that continues all the way through. So we have this RV parking garage, which is really nice. Here's your power box, gas meter, water stub. Okay, beautiful paved driveway. I mean, look at the landscaping on this. You got your synthetic grass. So what you'll see in this area is more of a rural area. However, um, you have more land. If you, if you guys are like more into like the outdoors and stuff like that, you know, this may be for you. You know, what's nice about this area is uh, if you're not really into the hustle and bustle, you know, you can go in and out of the mix within 30 minutes, so that's really nice. Beautiful pop out. Beautiful stone work, too. Three car garage. So we're coming into the uh, courtyard area. I like the fact that. We do have a lock here and it's fenced. So let's go ahead and shut that. So this courtyard, as you can see there, they have a rain gutter all the way around, which is really nice. Like that. And look at this, it doesn't just spit off into the floor. There's actually a drain that goes here, spits it back out. So this door right here leads out to the three car garage. Okay. Now this is gonna be a very long video, so bear with me. But this is a nice home, so I really wanted to show this to you guys. You also have the pavers. Can you right out to the driveway here? So here's your front entry door. You have a six panel frosted glass, French door. Look at this. Isn't this to die for? Look at this. Bam! So we have eight foot doors, 12 foot ceilings. You have a smackdown on the texture. Straight edge cornering. Baseboard, six inch baseboards. Beautiful tile work though, look at this tile work. Wood planks, which is really nice. So we're gonna start off here on the east wing. Love the fact that you can put a picture right there. Look how high these ceilings are. That's crazy. 
So this home actually faces uh, north. So in the backyard, you're gonna get a lot of sunlight. Six panel door here. Linen closet. Look at the uh, detail of the trim. Right into the closet too as well. Like that. Coming into the first bedroom. This one has cable outlets, a phone jack, ceiling fan. Doors are about 15 by 13. Coming into your built-in closet. Apple storage. This right here would be actually your Jack and Jill. You got your half inch quartz countertop, under mounted sink, brush nickel, frameless mirror, beautiful fixture with a medicine cabinet. Let's take a look at the uh, cabinets here. These are actually quality cabinets, soft closing cabinets. Not that one, but the drawers are. So here is where the toilet and also the tub shower combo however I'm gonna back out of this bedroom real quick and come back and we'll go through the second bedroom you have a Honeywell thermostat here here's the window for the uh, front of the property this closet underneath the staircase will be all your hardware and utility Cat Fi, Wi Fi, and all that stuff. So here's the second bedroom. This one is fairly larger. You got recessed lighting and a ceiling fan throughout. This one, I believe, is 19. By 15, I believe. Actually, you know what? It's actually the same size. I'm sorry. 15 by 13. So we have the same as the other vanity. So here is the toilet I was talking about. And you would actually shut this door right here. Oops. Now let's take a look here. This is cast iron. Okay, so this is a fiberglass tub. You do have porcelain tile, 12 by 24. I do love the sliding glass. It's really nice. Okay. Six panel doors, uh, these ones are not insulated. Uh, they're solid right here in the middle, just not here. Closet. There's no HOAs in here, which is really nice. I see a lot of people that you know live in this area. They're really into like dirt biking, outdoor, RV life. So we're gonna come upstairs here. So they have this as an office, which is really nice. I'm sure you can definitely negotiate the furniture on this one. Again, this one is 15 by 13. You have a little balcony right here to the front. Oh, I just got shocked. It's kind of cool. Not that much of a balcony, but come on out here, take a look. 
Oops. There's a freeway. 95. Get a lot of land out here for sure. So it looks like we have another thermostat up here. So this one looks like it has its own AC unit. Here's the closet. Walk in. Not bad. Come back around. You got your three quarter bathroom. You got your quartz again under mount sink, brush nickel. Love your quarter shower. Coming back out, you also have another door here that takes you off to a one foot balcony. Julia Romina. Here's the backyard here. Beautiful mountain views all the way around. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, I'm sure you guys something. That home right there. That one right there. I believe that one is David Copperfield's home. I believe so. Stairs. Let's go downstairs and see what we got. Carpets are uh, more of an industrial carpet. Uh, the padding is really good on it. I do like it. As you can see, there's windows all along the hallway here. You can see right into the courtyard, which is really nice. Here's the master. The master is 24 by 23. Love those wood planks on there. Beautiful decorative design. Look how huge how tall these ceilings are. Man, gorgeous. You have a door that leads you out to the back. So your TV would go right there. Alarm system. Okay. I'll show you this bathroom here. As you walk into the bathroom, look how huge this bathroom is. So you have a makeup counter here, dark cabinets, quartz again under Mount Sink. Nice tub. This is a fiberglass tub. Love the shower here. Pretty huge shower. So you come on in. Got the bench seat. Love the tile work on it. So this one actually has two shower heads, right? Which makes perfect sense. I mean, it's big enough for two people. I like it. The uh, casing around the door frame, it's a two inch, really nice. Here's your water closet, and check this out. Come up over here, love the mirror, check myself out, like bam. What do you guys think about my haircut? Let me know in the comments below. So check out this. So as you come on in, Look, look, look at it. Huge closet. Look at this custom closet. Walking all the way around. Crazy, right? I mean, look at this. It goes from basically floor to ceiling. 
So it's the other side. Look at that. Floor to ceiling. Coming out to the living area. Look at that stonework of that fireplace. I think that's a 42 inch fireplace. I would prefer a 72 on this. Look at this limestone. And you got that mount. That's just crazy. Look at that. Here's your formal dining area. The uh, living room that we just saw was actually a uh, 27 by 19. The dining area is a uh, 30 by 30 by 10. It says. Look at that chandelier. Pretty cool. Side we have the family room. Look how massive this kitchen is. This is like a four inch countertop. Look at that. We got two dishwashers under mount sink. Which is really nice. You got a monogram, appliances, and look at it. I like the fact that this is actually a two tone. Cabinets here are brown with white cabinets. Definitely pops. Uh, I believe monogram is the higher end of GE appliances. This is a sub zero refrigerator. You actually have 42 upper cabinets with a three inch crown. Look at the lights underneath the cabinets. Doesn't that make a big difference? Here's your conventional microwave and your industrial oven, which is really nice. It also has a lazy Susan. Okay. These are all quality drawers, soft clothes. Oh, look at these pullouts. Ooh, that's nice. That's great for pots. They should have a drawer. This one's a pot drawer. Oh, yeah, it's a pot drawer. Look at this. This is so much better. I love those things. Look at this. Extra touches. Pot filler. Wow, look at the stonework. Ooh, I just want to touch it. Touch it. Touch it. Oh, great. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Take a look at these big old light bulbs. That's nice. Great touch. Love the uh, living room. Love the uh, backsplash on it. The tiles up like that. Really nice. I think that is what the uh, 84 inch TV. It's definitely for a big family. You got surround sounds throughout, which is really nice. This 
that you have your security alarm system, I believe. Right here's your pantry. Decent sized pantry. Coming down this way would be bedroom number three or four, maybe four. Wow, look how huge. Makes such a big difference with the bedrooms and ceiling lights. This one has a phone jack, cable outlet, your mount for the TV. So this is more of a junior suite. You have your vanity, same countertops. Everything is pretty much in sync through the house. I like the fact that you have your linen closet here. Oh, look at this, what they did right here. So you put your linens here, and also you could put, hang up your shirts and your jeans here. That's really nice. Okay, so as we come into the water closet, the water closet also has the shower. So this would be a three quarter shower. I like the fact that there's a window here, so it really brings in a lot of light. And the way that this was designed, on this side of the home is actually the west side. So that's great that they put a window here as far as the architecture design on it. So that way it just doesn't feel so claustrophobic, you know? Are you looking here? Here's your custom closet. Here's your half bath. Pretty huge half bath. Oh wow, it's actually a three part of bath. Look at this. Oh, there's just so much to look at. I mean, look at the ceilings on here. This is just like crazy high. So, this must be for this bedroom over here, okay. So that's what it is. Linen closet, again. So this one has a ceiling fan. So you have all your cam lighting, outlet walk-in closet, okay. Huge walk-in closet. Huge room too, actually. This room is just as big as my massive bedroom. Coming into the laundry room. Laundry room has a sink, which is really nice. This is a gas dryer. With the 42 upper cabinets, three inch crown. This one actually has a refrigerator, which is really nice. Love the fact that there's a refrigerator here. Okay. Look at all the storage. Bam. All this counter space. Look at that. Alarm system right here. This is the three car garage. Look how huge this three car garage is. Ceilings on here are 12 foot ceilings too, as well. Floors have been epoxy, which is really nice. See how many gallons is this uh, water heater? 75 gallon purification system and soft water, which is really nice. So we actually have two doors, actually three doors. This one's back in the home. 
This one will take you to the side of the house where we've seen the RV as we're coming in for the RV parking. Right here is actually the courtyard. Okay? So let's go back in and let's go take a look in the backyard. Make one more loop here. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also, if you want to follow me on Instagram as well, that's where I put all the luxury homes that we do tour and you know sell to our client. You can't tell me this backyard is not to die for, right? Beautiful patio cover. Now this lot is 3,000 640 square feet. I mean, every square inch of this lot has been paved or landscaped. That's where you put your trash cans, okay. Let me take a look at this. Isn't this gorgeous? There's your doggy, your doggy door. You must have a big dog here, that's for sure. And look, they also have like outlets and all that. If you're gonna run Christmas lights, security system. Right there's the uh, casita. Look at that bar place. Look at this right here. Come up here. These uh, things right here, those are actually waterfalls. Beautiful jacuzzi. Look at, look at this. Look at this. Isn't this the quality line? Isn't that crazy? All right. Let's go check out the uh, the RV here. What's nice about this RV is that you have the full hookups here. So if your relatives come here, you can just hook it up. Also, this garage has two access points as you come in. Look how huge this RV garage is. Look, look at the height on this. I mean, if I bought a house like this, I would have to, I would have to buy an RV. I mean, look at this. Here's all your plugins for the RV. Look the same, you have a phone jack too as well. I like, I like. Look how much more room you could do with something. I would actually have a mini dirt bike. Look at this, they got a trampoline. In ground trampoline. Oh, look, you have a little grass area here. Here's the casita. That door right there takes you to um, the hot water heater. But what's nice about this casita? Is this could be like a a pool room, or like a you know small little clubhouse or whatever you want to do, or you also put some guests in here too as well. Is that your little cooler, or actually your little refrigerator? Four inch countertops, a little sink. Also have the upper cabinets as well. Check this out. Look. You got your microwave, closet or linen closet, whatever you want to do with this. Also, what's nice is, look, you have another room here. So, if you have guests that come out here and party, 
you don't want them to disturb uh, your sleep you just have them come and stay over here so this is where your TV would go so basically this would be like a, a little retreat area right here and you would put a bed right over there here's the three quarter bath everything's all in sync to the house You have dual pane windows, white vinyl. Take a look at this. Isn't that nice? Gorgeous, huh? Look at this backyard. Here's your fire pit. It's really nice. Have some chairs right out here. This is cool as hell. Look at this. Talking about barbecuing, huh? Entertaining. Look at this. Show this to you guys on a different angle here. Here's your jacuzzi with the over overflow. This is Pebble Tech. How beautiful is that, right? How beautiful is that? This door right here is actually part of your master. You got three AC units. Pool pump and equipment. It is a heated pool. Gas. You can tell they took really good care of it. Comes off of your master. I don't know. What, what's your guys' thoughts about this property? Can you see yourself living here? Is it worth the asking price? Also, if you want more information about this property, I will actually have a link below. Let me know in the comments below what your thoughts are about this property. I'm Chuck, it's Chris Want with Simply Vegas, and have a blessed day.